we just saw that oxidation causes an, an increase in the oxidation number. So let's see exactly what oxidation is. When we say oxidation, the name oxidation has something to do with oxygen. So we can define oxidation as the addition of oxygen to an element. Whenever you add oxygen to an element, you are causing oxidation. Whenever an element is added to oxygen or oxygen is added to an element, it will cause an increase in that element's oxidation number. So when the element is on its own, it has no power to combine with oxygen. But once it combines with oxygen, clearly that means the element has some power to combine with oxygen. Now, two processes that are oxidation are combustion and rusting. When we say combustion, it is just burning. Burning takes place in the presence of oxygen. And then oxides are formed. Oxides are formed. Rusting is when iron reacts with oxygen to form iron oxide, as you can see here. So here, iron on its own will react with oxygen to give us iron oxide. And this is the process we know as rusting. So here, carbon combines with oxygen. Carbon bends in oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. This two is a small two. It's a subscript. Carbon combines with oxygen. When there's incomplete burning, carbon monoxide is produced. When there's complete combustion of carbon, carbon dioxide is produced. When there's incomplete combustion of carbon, carbon monoxide is produced. Sulfur also burns in oxygen to produce sulfur dioxide. So all these three processes are examples of combustion. And rusting is where iron reacts with oxygen to form the oxide of the iron. So in each case, after oxidation, the oxide of that element is produced.